Be sure to check out my store for the stuff I use and templates at a low cost, and get my everything pack so you can have everything in my store at a reduced cost, less than $20 if you tweet it out. What's up guys, Quezzy here, bringing you guys another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this style of 2D headers, or banners I guess. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to call this yet, uh, you'll probably know because it's going to be in the title of the video obviously. But this is, what, this is what we're going to be doing. It's a really sweet design. I really like this. This is one of those uh, headers that, like, I kind of just, you have an idea, and you go out and you just make it, and it's like, oh, it came out pretty well. Uh, this was actually for a client, but when I showed it to him, he wanted something a lot simpler. He just wanted, basically, text on a colored background. So this wasn't going to be used, so I was like, ah, this I don't want this to go to waste. I'll do a tutorial on it, so that's why we're here. But yeah, let's get right into the actual tutorial itself, guys. So I'm in a Twitter template right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and get a normal background, start from blank. So this is 3000 by 1500, uh, or 3000 by 1000 document. And the first thing I'm going to do is actually go to my, <clears throat> go to that this half circle thing. I forget what these are called, uh, but we want to go and get a pattern. And now you might have different patterns patterns installed, obviously, than I do, but we're just gonna get one of these soft ones. So what this sort of looks like is this very like a grainy look, and you could probably create this using filter and uh, pixels and whatever, or stylize maybe there's stuff in there, or noise. I mean, there's plenty of ways to get this sort of effect. Uh, in Photoshop, this is just a pattern that I have. I don't know if it's default in Photoshop, but it works works out. Um, but we're going to set that to overlay. And obviously we have a black background right now, so it won't show up. But you want to click on, double click on that black background, and we're going to be selecting a color overlay. And you want to select whatever color you're going to be doing. So in the one I showed you, I was using orange. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that again. Uh, you can see I selected an orange and it was yellow. That's because that layer, the pattern over, is on overlay. So it's going to brighten things up because it's mainly white. So we're going to have to select a darker orange to get more of an orange we want. So I'm basically selecting this ugly brown, but it turns into this orange, which looks pretty all right. I'm going to try to make it more of a, eh, maybe not, maybe slightly darker. Uh, somewhere around there. That works. We'll do that. And then you can right click rasterize layer type if you want that's all good but then we're gonna go above the pattern layer and we want to bring in our logo or create text so I'm just gonna go snag this logo that I was using before and I'm just gonna duplicate it and bring it up here so here we are let me just clear everything because yours will be blank and most likely it'll be straight on uh, well, it will be straight on and won't be tilted automatically, but I like to do a slight left tilt So it's from the left bottom left corner to the top right something like that And then the layer style we're gonna be using is actually one from my layer styles pack Which you can buy in my store. I'll link it down below, but is a relatively simple layer style um, Basically if I go here and select it, it's just a stroke with a colored drop shadow and I don't even use this gradient I just kind of uh, it takes the fill opacity all the way down. I don't know why I did that, but I just use the white rather than the gradient. And then you can see it's just a stroke uh, with the orange gradient. Uh, this might be two contrasting oranges, so I might I'm I'm probably gonna fix that background orange in a sec. But it's just a stroke of four on the outside, slight gradient of the color we're using, outer glow of black, thirty seven percent and then a drop shadow with the color at like 77% with the spread and size at zero. And then the distance we can change, I'm actually gonna make it slightly smaller to about 32. So you get something like this. Um, of course, if you have my layer styles pack, you can just go ahead and use that and do what I just did. If not, just create it from scratch. It's really simple, it's nothing too crazy. Um, you could actually use a gradient if you want, but I think I'm just gonna keep it as is for now. I'm gonna click okay. And let's duplicate that uh, logo or text, whatever, and then right click and clear it. And this one we're just going to bring down below, just above the pattern overlay. And we're going to Command T and expand it to fill the whole um, project, basically, and then decrease the opacity 
somewhere in the single digits. So that's maybe even less. We'll do about four. And let me go ahead and actually change the color of this orange real quick. There we go. That's more of an orange I want. That works. All right. The next step we want to do is go select the layer. That's the logo or text that's hidden behind um, and below the main logo. And we're going to create a new layer right there. And we want to go ahead to the pen tool and we're just going to create a cool little swerve thing. So I'm going to go from the bottom left to the top right and do a little arch like that and do the same thing coming back somewhere around that. You want to try to get as much of the text in there as you can uh, in between the two paths. And then we're going to just right click fill path and we'll do black. And then right click delete path. And here we go. This is our the main bit of the design now. And I like to do a command U on that and just bump up the lightness by five. So it's a dark gray, not a uh, straight black, which can look kind of weird um, in digital designs and things. So we have this. Now we want to create, actually, let's just go ahead and duplicate that. And you can rename these if you want. So I'm going to call this top one uh, black and then the bottom one white. And on the white one, we're going to actually command I which will make it the exact opposite color. But since it's not pure white, it's going to be a little towards the gray because we put it on a plus five lightness before. We're just going to command U and bring the lightness all the way up. So now we know it's pure white. Then we're going to command T and we're going to rotate it. And you could rotate it either way. Um, so I could do that. I actually like this a little better. Um, so I'm going to do that just slightly. So we get these uh, little bits of white right here. And you could leave it like that if you'd want. But what I'm going to do is press command and select the black thumbnail. And you can see it'll select that black bit. And then we're going to do select, modify, expand. And we want to do like eight or 10. So I just did eight and that's pretty good. I think we can work with that. Obviously, this is a huge document, 3000 by 1000. So if it's smaller, you're going to have to use do that a little less than that. Probably like two or three or four. But we want to make sure we have this white layer selected and then press delete. Then command D to deselect. You can see now we have that little bit of orange in there. So it spaces out this white bit a little more. And I think that just looks a little better. <clears throat> now on the black layer again, we want to create a new layer. And then press alt and click on that layer to make it a clipping mask or right click create a clipping mask. And we're going to get our brush tool. And we just want to get a normal soft brush. And I'm actually going to bump up the size using the bracket keys. And I'm going to have white selected and the soft brush. And I'm just going to do a little bit on the outside. That's a little too close. We want to do like that and like that. And then set it to overlay. And since it's a dark gray, not a pure black, we'll actually be able to see a little bit of the white. If it was pure black, nothing would really show up at all. Um, but we just want to decrease the opacity a little bit, maybe not even that much maybe 95. So there is a slight, it kind of gives it the perspective like this is closer and this is further back, if you know what I mean. So it's kind of like wrapping around. If it was like, if you think of it as like a three dimensional space, I guess, and that's kind of the look I was going for with doing that rather than just a solid 2D thing. Um, probably on the recording, you can't see it as well as I can, but that's the idea behind that. Now we want to go ahead and create a new layer and we're going to get the pen tool again. And we're just going to add a little bit more. So we want to like fill in this left corner and this right corner a little bit because they're kind of boring. So what I'm going to do is start from the top left bit of the black on this side and just overlap a little tiny bit like this. And just go around and get this little bit. So there's a little bit of a chunk here and we're going to right click fill path black delete path. Okay. And then we want to do command U plus five, get something like this. And maybe that wasn't the best one that doesn't really look all that great. Um, let me actually try this again. Okay. That's a little bit better. This would probably look a lot better if it was up a little further, like maybe to here, 
But again, let's do the command U plus five. And then let's duplicate it, command U, and just bring it all the way up to make it white, and then drag that white one below. And we're gonna bring this down, and then command T and rotate it so the points line up like that. And then you can see there's a little bit of a gap here, so I'm just gonna do the easy way and select both of those and move them over. So it kind of cuts off that little orange bit that was there. And then we could bring these down even and do something like that if you'd want. I'm gonna leave it up because I don't want the corner showing. And something like this works. I think it would look a lot better if this whole black part was up, but this isn't too bad either. Now let's go ahead and create another layer. And we're gonna sort of follow this part a, just a little bit and do something like this. Alt click that to get the sharp point and then do that. There we go. And we're gonna do the same thing we just did, fill it with black. Right click delete path, command U plus five. And then we're gonna command J to duplicate that layer. And we're gonna right click flip horizontal, right click flip vertical and bring it up here. And actually where would be a good spot? Actually, maybe right here would work. And we're actually gonna bring that one down below this guy. There we go, that looks a lot better. And we're gonna do the same thing we did with the white one here. So we're gonna duplicate this, command U, lightness all the way up, bring it below the black one. And then you could pick either side. So I'm actually gonna just rotate a little bit this way and then bring it down like that. So we get something like that and then do the same thing over here. Bring it down, command T, rotate it a little bit, then bring it down. There we go, that looks pretty nice. This top corner is a little weird. Um, sh I should probably play with that a little more, but you guys kind of understand what I'm going for, I guess. Now let's go back to the bottom, most layer, so this orange layer, and create a new layer. Get the brush tool, we want a soft brush again, and we want it to be white. And we want to click right in the middle, create some of this just soft brush right down in the middle, and then set that to overlay, and decrease the opacity a little bit so it's not completely yellow, but we want a little bit of yellow just like that. That looks pretty nice. And then we want to go jump up to the very top layer, and create a new layer and we want to have a white selected still maybe make the brush a little smaller and go across the top set that to overlay as well bring down the opacity maybe 28 that works and then create a new layer and we want to do the same thing to the bottom but with black like so so now that kind of distinguishes it between the top and bottom. I like that it's like sort of a gradient and I really like that look. Uh, that's just like a personal thing though, I guess. You, you, it's not required. All right, now let's go to the pattern layer, select that and create a new layer above that. And we're gonna go ahead, get the pen tool again. And where there's space like here and here, um, on the original one I made, there was more on the bottom. Uh, this one's sort of a little different because obviously it's a different shape. But in that space, you wanna create sort of a circular bar. And what I mean by that is sort of like create the arc and try to make it match sort of along with this one, the main black bar. So you sort of want it to be uh, close to that. And you wanna just come around and make it sort of thin like this and then finish it off. So this is what we're gonna be working with. Um, obviously this isn't gonna be the placement because it kind of interferes with this, although it could be just below it. And we're gonna right click fill path and this time we're gonna do white, click okay, right click delete path. And we're gonna set that to overlay and I'm just gonna bump it up and then I'm gonna command J to duplicate it, bring it up even more to around here. And then if there were more space down to the bottom, I'd bring it there too, like a couple more there too, but I'm just gonna have to bring one and we're gonna right click, flip it horizontal, flip it hor uh, vertically, and kind of set it up like this. And we wanna select all of them and bring down the opacity to maybe 30s, 20s, 30s is looking pretty good, 33, I'll do that. 
and then you just want to go in to each one and erase a little bit so for the these two they're next to each other so I'm gonna select this one and erase this side and then select the other one and erase the opposite side so you get sort of like this back and forth and then with the one on the bottom I'm just gonna do that since that triangles already there you get something like that and you can do more of those thinner or thicker depending it's up to you really it doesn't really matter all right now you notice the bar kind of looks a little too plain in my opinion so we're gonna go to that black bar and duplicate it so command J and on that duplicated copy we're gonna press alt and make that a clipping mask and command I to make it white and since it's obviously the gray we want to command U make it pure white then command T and press alt and click at the top or bottom and just bring it in a little bit and then you might actually no this will this should be fine I'm just gonna go a little more and then I'm gonna slightly rotate it to match up the curves again like that there we go and we're gonna set that to overlay as well and we're gonna get the erasing to eraser tool and since these edges or these sides are gonna be a little weird we want to just erase them and then this guy up here and maybe the edge like that and then you can do like the middle bits too if you want but then you get a nice glare on that which looks really sweet I really like that you could also do the same thing with these guys if you want just do the same process I just showed you and get white glares there uh, for time sakes I'm just not gonna do that next thing we're gonna want to add some brushes like this is optional if you want it to be clean then you might want to just stay with this and then add an image to the background like I did the Suicide Squad in the original but I like to add a little bit of textures using brushes so I'm gonna create a new layer at the very bottom I'm gonna have white selected you could also do black depending and I'm gonna use my own brush pack which again is in my store if you want it um, and I'm just gonna use some particles from that so I'm gonna actually select this one and I actually want to bring the size of this brush down um, you can use any brush you want really it doesn't have to be mine mine are just available to you if you want and we're gonna make this about the same size of the page and boom and I'm gonna get the eraser tool and get rid of this stupid line that's there and I'm gonna set that to overlay and decrease the opacity and I did that a few times with a few different brushes and they were just very subtly in the background and I think it just made it look cooler with the image in the background the Suicide Squad image and that's the next step guys is just putting the final image in there so let me actually just find an image since I don't have one up I'll just look up that suicide we're gonna make sure it fits on here nicely and bring it down this is not the one I used before actually and then we're just gonna bring down the opacity until it's something like that there we go so this image is a little different so we get a little bit of different look with that orange uh, looks kind of different maybe bring down the pattern overlay opacity and then maybe go back to the background color and make it a little more saturated that might look a little better yeah there we go but yeah guys that's essentially it then um, hopefully this tutorial helped you hopefully you learned something hopefully you can create cool stuff like this um, if you guys reach 100 likes on this video I'll put the original one in the description down below for you guys to download and use this one and uh, be sure to subscribe for more tutorials follow me on Twitter at Quezzy add my snapchat which is Quezzy for things I'm doing and all that good stuff guys yeah see you next time peace